In developing news this evening, questions remain in the investigation of Holly Cordier, the 38-year-old California mom, survived 12 days inside Zion National Park before rescuers found her. The family of Cordier now revealing that she planned to spend several days inside the park to go on a spiritual journey while fasting from food or water. ABC4's Katie Corrales reports. The family of Holly Cortier, the Woodland Hills mom who went missing inside Zion National Park on October 6th, says she has checked herself into a mental health facility to process some trauma she's not dealt with for several years. She wanted to kind of go on a spiritual journey and spend some time alone in prayer. Jamie Strong, one of Holly's sisters, said that Holly likely suffered a mental breakdown, leaving in the middle of the night from California without telling her family where she was going, leaving her cell phone behind. She had planned that out and had decided to do that. Jamie called it a series of bad choices that went horribly wrong. After reportedly overexerting herself on the first day on a hike without food or water, the family said she suffered a concussion while setting up her hammock along the Virgin River, but ultimately deciding to forego an MRI or CAT scan. That concussion allegedly making her so disoriented she couldn't call for help. She looked like a 60 year old woman. Her cheeks were sunken in. The family statement comes after Sergeant Daryl Cashin, liaison of the Washington County Sheriff's Search and Rescue, spoke out Tuesday about several discrepancies he says he sees between Zion National Park statements and the families. I'm saying if she'd been drinking that water, unless she had some really high immune system, she would have been very, very ill and probably unable to come out on her own. Cashin said it's a high possibility she would have died if she was drinking the river water amid a toxic algae bloom. The family told ABC News Holly did not drink the river water or any water, although it's unclear how she was able to survive without water for 12 days. As an advanced EMT, Cashin said physically Holly seemed to be in a condition during her rescue that did not warrant an ambulance transport. If it was significant enough to last that many days, there should have been some sign of that injury. Zion National Park officials say they will be making their final investigative report public, although it's unclear when exactly it will be released. Katie Kralis, ABC4 News.